So I had to empty out my fridge a little bit because I recently did a grocery haul and I have lots and lots of new veggies. And so there were some veggies that really had seen their best time. I had some of these, well, you can see it. It's pretty much, well, it's not super dead, but it's a little bit wonky. And so I had uh, four of these and I had them laying around and I was like, I really have to use them up. I don't want to have to throw them away. I also really need to use this meat. It's upside down because it has been opened. I taste it, who? I tasted a piece. Uh, it's some salami. It's good until... Let's see. I think the date was pretty good. Maybe I should put it in a Ziploc bag. It's like, yeah, the 22nd of April. So that's okay. I still want to make some pizza from scratch. We ate pizza when my nephew was here. I have to be honest, it wasn't really... Mm, I would not call it pizza. So I'm still planning on making pizza from scratch. It has been a while. I sometimes like to do it. And you know, when you make, come on. Also, when you make pizza from scratch, I don't really, you know, you cannot really compare it with just ordering pizza or buying it at the store. So it is pizza, but then, you know, it, it's good. <laughs> You know, I don't really compare it to like pizza that you buy in the store or whatever. I have some of these proteins products left. I tasted one of like the mousses, the chocolate mousse with caramel salt. It was pretty good. And then this morning I had one of the protein thingies with chocolate milk also pretty good. So far I do like it. I have tasted like a little tiny sip of this one. And yeah, some other random items that I have in my fridge. But it looks pretty good now. The only thing that I have to get rid of is the iceberg lettuce and this thing because I do have a new cucumber. But you know, I will just eat this as is. I also had a piece yesterday, so that's not a problem. However, iceberg lettuce, I will have to see what I can eat it with. And also I really have to um, eat those things because I do have some apples in here. Well, that's, that's a lemon, but I do have some apples that are also pretty much dead. Do you hear that sound? That's my fridge telling me to close it. So this is what my fridge looks like. I feel on top of everything that's in there and um, yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah, come on. Quiet. Also, I really want to buy myself some of these things. I read someone that said, yeah, well, I had some on my fridge and they scratched all over my fridge. So I would love to have some more of these. Or maybe I can make sort of like a protection for them myself to just put over the magnet. Because as you can see, this one's not going to scratch because, you know, there's just some fabric on the back side of it. So I am thinking about, yeah, buying some more or whatever, you know, I really would like to start a little collection with these. And then over here, I have my bell peppers that I just talked about like the, the pretty much dead bell peppers. And also I have some onion. I'm just going to uh, cook this up together, put in some salt, some pepper, maybe some um, paprika powder. And that's about it, actually. I really like the combination of just bell pepper and onion. I'm probably going to eat it with some chicken and some rice and that will be my dinner for tonight. It's a little bit bland, but I don't mind it too much. I can also use some uh, soy sauce, maybe some sweet soy sauce to give it some extra flavor, but that's about it. It's just like scrap night, you know? <laughs> just some scraps, some leftovers that I'm going to eat and empty out before, you know, going into the rest of the week with all the new groceries that I bought. But I will keep you updated about the finished product. Also, of course, I can't forget my garlic. I love garlic. Here's what my veggies and my meat looks like right now. I have just cooked up some chicken. I'm just going to blend it in right now. And that's about it. I'm just going to eat it with some rice, like I said. And that's it. But it's only like almost four o'clock. So I won't be eating this until like later tonight. But it's nice to already have my dinner done. Oh, well, I have to fill my dinner though instead of like the cliff of doom. So yeah, I'm going to turn this off for now and then I will reheat it tonight. Okay, it has been a few days and look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> 
He lays in here all the time. He really loves it. Hey, cutie. He also really loves to play. When I do like this, he starts like, oh my god, what is this? Do you see that? That's so cute. <laughs> hey, cutie. <laughs> and then Pisash and Yip Yip, they're okay, but they're also kind of like... You know, they're always chasing each other and stuff. And so, of course, this is the place that Pistache picked for himself. Of course. <laughs> just here to guard everything. And then when Yip Yip comes down, he can just, you know, intimidate him and say like, I am the boss in this apartment. I rule over you. He also sometimes likes to lay in there, but you know, Yip Yip is officially like the boss of this thing. He loves it. And maybe I'm going to get myself another one because they enjoy this so much and I love seeing them in here. Best buy ever. Do, 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 do. Come on, sit. No, no, sit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay too, come on. And then these two are just chilling out in the sun because the sun is shining. However, it is also like the wind is blowing very, very hard. Do you want to go outside, cutie? Pisash, come on then. Yeah, Mucker, how are you going to fix that? Just jump over him. Come on, you can do it. I also always open the other window because like I said, Yip Yip and Pisash like to uh, chase each other sometimes and I want them to have like two opportunities to go off and on the balcony. By the way, this thing broke. Uh, so I also have to replace that because they use this so often. I am going to save like the rope that's on there though because I can use that for another project. Mucker. Come on, you have two openings now. Hey, hey. Hello Lamfem, so I am on my way to my P.O. box. It's already activated, but I have to get the keys. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And as I'm recording this, I'm like, oh my God, I'm just realizing I know where it is kind of, but I did not really, you know, look up where it is exactly. So, oops, but we'll see, it's okay. So if everything is okay, this is where I should be. Let me have like a look at the papers. Yeah, it says it's right here. So yeah, let me go in, let me get the keys, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you later, Lamfem. A few minutes later. Hello, Lamfem. So I am back, and I do have my keys from my P.O. box. So I'm very, very exciting about that. Exciting? No, I'm excited about that. I will have to do a little bit of investigating because i do know that about half of my audience is from um, the usa america if you would send a package like a bigger package from america that can get pretty pricey and so i do know that in germany and in uh, well not london but england i think or maybe belgium i'm not sure maybe even like the netherlands itself I have no idea. I will do some investigation during like editing this clip, but there is like Amazon near where I live. And so if you would send packages or whatever, you know, bigger things through the Amazon that's, you know, near the Netherlands, that is much more cheaper in, in terms of like the um, shipping costs and stuff. So I will link that information down below because, you know, I don't want people to pay a lot of money to send me things. You know, it, it should be something nice. It should be not too, you know, too, too costly and too big and stuff. So that's something that I will do so look for that in the description. I am in front of this store where I want to buy my cats their cat tree thing where they can claw their paws. Uh, they've really missed it so you know I wanted to buy a new one. Also I'm not going for a walk today because this is going to be my steps for the day. This store is pretty big so you know it will take me a good amount of steps to just get through the store. So let's go. I'll take you with me. Before going into the store, here's the information for when you would like to send me or my cat something. The Netherlands has its own Amazon website. Instead of .com, you just type in .nl. If you can't find a specific item, you can also try Amazon.de, which is Germany's Amazon website, our neighboring country. Next to the search bar, you can change the website's language preferences to English. And now you don't pay for any extra shipping or import costs. I also made an Amazon wishlist, which I will link in the description of my videos from now on. I read that sending a letter from overseas is pretty affordable. For it to arrive though, it can take anywhere from a week to about two months. So please keep in mind that it might take a while. Me and my case are looking forward to hearing from you lemons. Back to the video. Oh man, this makes me excited to grow my own peppers again. But this plant is perfect. It's not super big and it has so many peppers. Okay, maybe this weekend I'm going to plant myself some peppers and some bell peppers. Beautiful full plant. 
They also have these things, um, snack bell peppers, I think it is. Yes, snack bell peppers. Also very cute. Oh my God, look at like the bottom one. Do you see that? That would have been like a huge one. Also really cute and tiny. Mine gets so big and so huge. Wow. Ah, oh, strawberries. I've never grown strawberries myself. That should be cool. Hmm. This is also interesting. You have the basil and I grow that myself, so I know what it looks like. But then you also have this one. It says it's like this fine basil. And I was like, huh, this is basil, but I smelled it and it is in fact basil. I've never seen this kind. That's interesting. It's super beautiful though. They also have this one. This one is Thai basil, like from Thailand. And it smells a little bit like a combination of like peppermint, licorice and basil. That's really interesting. I never knew that there were so many kinds. This stuff smells really, really good. It smells after lemon. It's called lemon verbena, ver verbena, something like that. It is so good. Oh my God. My hands are just like itching. I want to buy all of these. I love these herbs. Also, I never knew that thyme is this cute. Like, look at it. Like, I do know how it looks like, give or take, because of like the dried version, but this is so cute. That's so colorful. They are huge though. Like, look at them. This is my hand. They are super huge. Oh my God. A lemon tree. Small ones too. Hmm. Look at this one. It's small and it has lots and lots of lemons. That's so cute. That could also be really, really cute to hang this on the wall of my studio to have it in the background. Hmm, something to consider. I don't necessarily like the pot, but you know, you can change that up. Oh, and these are cute too. Like, look at them. It's cuties or mandarins or tangerines. I don't know. Lots of names for those things, but ah, they're so cute. They are super tiny though, but I do expect them to get bigger. At least I hope so. <laughs> more lemons and some more it's it's frustrating because i don't know what kind my own like lemon tree is i've just grown it out of a seed of like an old lemon and so i have no idea should i just like grow it like this or should i maybe like bind it up like this one you know it has been binded to this thing this wooden thing but then also maybe it's just <laughs> i'm trying to grow lemons and i'm not possible to you know i have no idea also look at these things what the heck is this when I look at the leaves, I think my own lemon tree is more like this one. So maybe I should do some research about like different kinds of lemons and try to, you know, I can also bind my whole plant up. But then there's also this huge lemon tree. <laughs> Oh my god, if my lemon tree is this big, because it is pretty big already, there's no way for me to keep it inside of my house all the time. Also, I found one of these little lemons. One fell off and so I'm going to take it with me and slice it up to see what the insides look like. Because they're just going to throw it away here and I am curious. Like, look at it, it's perfect. Now let's get on because I do like plants, but you know, I, I do like the plants that are edible. The other plants, not so much. So let's keep going because I can stay here for like hours and hours. Oh wow, these things are really cool and clever because you can place them, you know, against the, the side or like the back of your couch because they keep scratching it and it's super annoying. My couch is dying <laughs> and that's not a big deal because it's like an older couch, but I am planning on buying a new one this year and I don't want it to get ruined like instantly. So, you know, this is something that I could think about, especially that one, it's so cute. Okay, so they don't have a lot of choice. However, that one right there is the cheapest and also the longest. So I'm definitely going for that one. They only have it like in this color, but that's, you know, it's fine. And I always buy the cheapest because I have four cats and they go through this so fast. Like in a few months, I will have to buy a new one. So this one is fine. They do not have them like under here because that's, you know, all they have on like hand. So I'll just have to take this whole thing with me, which is okay. Let's get them some cat grass too, because I love it. I don't think Yuki ever had cat grass. I don't remember. I don't think so. So let's grab some and that will be it. I will go and pay for it now. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. If you would have like a garden or something. So earlier I said that I, you know, like flowers that are, or plants that are edible and flowers not so much. And it's not that I dislike flowers, but I don't like growing them myself. However, I love getting them because they're beautiful and call me cliche, but I do love roses red ones 
so i am also thinking about going to the supermarket the grocery store because i want or i'd like to film a little tour with me because you know dutch supermarkets some people might be super interested in how they look like and how they are built up so i wanted to do that but it is like 3 30 i still have to eat lunch so i don't know i am going to think about it i'm also pretty tired i worked on youtube into the night i was so frustrated by this last video so the last video that i shot was this video of me like after my way in and i talked about how it messes with my mind and it's just it was so frustrating to make that video because i was frustrated with myself and still it is how i think and it's it's the disordered part in me and i got so frustrated by hearing myself talk and also i saw my sister today and she also said like i'm your sister and even i got really irritated i just have to find a balance but i worked on youtube into the night and i you know i i woke up and i was like oh my god i was so i was not having it today but instead of just laying in bed and do some more editing and just you know killing some time and just focusing on the next day to begin you know i just was not accepting that and so i was like come on let's get out let's get you out of the house let's get some fresh air in and you know I picked up the keys of my P.O. box. I got myself the, the cat grass and my little cat scratch thingy. I'm really excited about giving it to them. I don't know, but it's, it's still, when you buy something for your pets, that's something that makes me really happy just to see how they react to it. It's one of the nicest things, I think, you know? giving gifts to someone or just buying things for your pets. I really like it. So I'm going to just have a moment for myself, listen to some music, and then I'm going home and I will see you in my next one now i will probably see you later or the next day or maybe i will film an outro and and you know this is the end of the video i have no idea yep yep i just entered did you miss it so much <laughs> let's see how they like it that's what i thought so yuki likes it too they all love the new scratching pole and let's see how they like their cat grass shall i maybe put it on the floor and then you can eat it better <gasps> no 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 don't do that no no come on do you want it? Do you want it? Come on. They absolutely love it. Look at them. It's so cute. Hey, be nice. Uh, uh, be nice. Come on. There's enough for all of you. They really love it. Don't you want some grass, cutie? Don't you want some grass too? Isn't this the cutest? Oh my god, I enjoy this so much. Yeah, do you like it? Mocker is pretty much over it, but you know, this is my lemon tree. It's huge. I think it's one of those like trees that you saw in the store, like the really big ones. Or actually there was only one really big one. Uh, so yeah, hmm. what should I do with it? Oh my God, look at it. Isn't that the cutest? Look at it, it's so tiny. Oh my God, look at it, it's perfect. That's so cute. Isn't that one of the most perfect things you've ever seen? Wow. It's just, it's all there. Hello, Lemfem. So I wanted to give an update. In my last video, you saw me go to the vet with Mucker, my oldest cat. The vet did some blood works and everything came out perfect. So I'm very happy with that. It was time though to get his teeth cleaned. And since all the blood works came back okay, he received green light and I was able to schedule him for a dental appointment. He had his appointment last week. Everything went well, but this is also something that you will see in my upcoming vlog. This was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful wonderful day wherever you are and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye Lemfem!